गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स अप टू नाउ वी आर स्टडिंग चैप्टर नंबर फर्स्ट दैट इज द लॉज ऑफ मोशन ओके सो आल्सो वी सी सम प्रॉब्लम्स एक्चुअली अनसॉल्व प्रॉब्लम दैट गिवन इन एक्सरसाइज ओके द प्रॉब्लम यू आर ऑलरेडी स्टडी इन द लास्ट लेक्चर नाउ टुडे वी हैव टू स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर 2 दैट इज वर्क एंड एनर्जी ओके सो we have already study about force okay we know force is responsible for the motion of an object if you apply force on object then motion or acceleration in an object is produced okay so that should be related to the this concept work okay so we have to study detail about the work and also energy different types of energy we are already studied or hear about it okay energy is simply what capacity to capacity to do any work that is simply called as a energy <coughs> without energy it not possible to do any work okay so energy is one important factor that we have to study in this chapter and now in this chapter near about in this throughout year we have to study total about one type of energy that is mechanical energy okay there are two main types of mechanical energy first is kinetic energy and potential energy combination of kinetic energy and potential energy is simply called as a mechanical energy kinetic energy plus potential energy is total called as a mechanical energy we already studied potential energy is nothing but the energy gain by an object due to its position okay and we know that a potential energy is a depend on the height and second is kinetic energy kinetic means or simply motion whatever the energy object have due to its motion okay due to its simply velocity that energy is simply called as a kinetic energy so in the study of energy we have to study potential energy and kinetic energy that is the mechanical energy and also we have to study about work in this chapter okay now first of all we see what is actually meaning of work okay suppose we are reading a book okay or watching a tv so simply if ask you what are you doing then we tell them i am actually working on something okay now if we are studying then we can call i am working but now actually <coughs> it is work or not in the language of physics okay because in the physics work has its a specific meaning okay for that some conditions are there then and then we can say that work is done now suppose if we are reading a book throughout from morning to evening we are only reading a book okay then anyone can say that he is working he is studying okay but now in terms of physics in language of physics can we say that that is a work okay no okay so we cannot refer as this this is a work because there are some certain conditions that should have to be follow then and then we can say that work is done okay now suppose i am pushing a wall okay i am applying force on that wall and we know due to the application of force what happen acceleration produced in an object due to the application of force motion in an object is expressed but now suppose we consider one case that i am pushing a wall okay so it is possible to us push a wall so to throughout morning to evening i am pushing a one wall so someone may be say that if that person don't know any about physics then they will that can say that he is working on that wall something working but actually i am trying to pushing that wall but what happen motion in that wall is not placed actually that wall remains stationary okay so no change takes place in the position of a wall okay so in physics work has its specific condition okay it's a specific meaning if that conditions are valid or possible then and then we can say that work is done in generally okay with except physics 
What is work simply? Any physical or mental activity that we generally call as a work. If okay, if you, if someone says that I am reading book, that is work. Okay, except physics, we can say that he is working because it is a mental work. Okay, if I am watching a TV, then okay, that is also a work, but that is not mental work. Okay, so I am pushing wall, that is also work, but. Actually, in terms of physics, we cannot say that these all three things are a work. Okay? For the work, generally, if you see the definition of work, the definition tells us that work is said to be done when a force applied on an object causes displacement of the object. Okay? If you apply force on an object, then due to that force, if displacement in an object takes place okay if that applied force is responsible for the motion of that object okay if motion takes place due to the application of force then and then you can call work is done otherwise suppose i tell you one example already that if i am pushing a wall Throughout the year, I apply maximum possible force on it. Okay, but due to that force, that wall is moved. No. Okay, that wall remains stationary. Okay, we are studying. At that time, no motion is takes place. Okay. Definition is what work is said to be done when force applied on an object causes displacement. Okay. Displacement is not possible in that case. When we are watching a TV, then it is actually a mental work. But when we are pushing you all at that time, displacement of wall is takes place due to the our applied force. No. Okay. And then if a displacement of an object is not takes place, then at that time we not refer in the language of physics. This is a work. Okay. So simply we have to remember here, work is a work is done. When we can say work is done, when applied force causes displacement of an object. If a displacement in object not takes place at that time, we can't say we can't say that work is done. Okay? When work is done, when applied force responsible for the displacement of the object, then and there work is said to be done in language of physics. Okay? That is the actual meaning of work. in language of physics other works reading or some writing some watching that are all the mental works but in language of physics whatever the force we apply that should be responsible for the motion of an object then and then we can call work is done okay so if suppose f is a force we apply on some hot object okay f is a force that we apply on some hot object due to that force s is a displacement takes place in an object due to the application of f force on an object s is the displacement produced in an object then work is given by force into displacement okay that is the formula of work you have to remember remember this formula we have to use up to 12 standards and after that also okay so simply work is equal to force into displacement due to the application of force whatever the displacement produced in an object we have to take multiplication of that both term so we can say that work is equal to force into displacement so f w is equal to f into s is the formula of a work done okay so now next topic we have to see that is the calculation of work done when we apply force on some object okay here the case consider a one case that one small boy is pulling a small cart okay that we have to consider suppose this is a one cart okay and this is a one string okay we have to Pull any cart such like that, okay? In some inclined to horizontal direction. So here, this is a one cart. This is a one string, okay? That actually, 
that picture is given in our book okay the small girl pulling its cart okay so suppose this is a cart and this is the direction of force that that girl apply on that cart okay and now actually here our this is the direction of our displacement okay but now if you look at the direction of force that is not actually horizontal okay that is somewhat inclined in angle theta to the horizontal direction our no doubt about that our direction is get displacement in this direction okay displacement of that cart is occur in this direction but if we see the direction of force is not actually exact horizontal okay if you apply force in this direction but displacement produced in an object in this horizontal direction okay so in that case what happen about work when the force and the displacement is not at exactly same okay when the direction is not exactly same somewhat angle between force and displacement in that case how can we calculate the work done in an object that we have to calculate here now here we can say that f is a applied force in an object this is a one object and this is a applied force in this direction on this object suppose this is a one string and we are pulling this string in this forward direction okay but the application of force is in this direction so this direction we call as a f okay then f1 okay f1 is the component of force in the direction of displacement actually we are applying force in this direction but displacement is not produced in this direction okay displacement produced in exact horizontal direction so this f1 be the component of this force okay some part of this force in this direction so that force we call as a f1 okay f1 is a component of force f in the horizontal direction or direction of the displacement okay we have to understand this figure by using that we have to see forward some derivation okay so first of all again i again repeat it here we consider a one cart okay and you apply force in this direction we know due to the application of force displacement of object takes place in the direction of force okay simply this is a cart okay and if i apply exact horizontal force on it okay due to the application of exact horizontal force suppose this gate displaced to here okay suppose 5 meter is the displacement of that object and 50 newton is the force i apply on that object so we can easily calculate in that case because we know work done is given by simply force into displacement so here force is 50 newton and displacement is 5 meter so 50 into 5 that will be the our work but when when exact force is horizontal and displacement is horizontal now here what happen our force and displacement are not in the exactly same direction okay we have applied force in this direction and displacement produced in an object in this horizontal direction so there is somewhat angle between displacement and force at that time what happened that we have to see now for that we consider this is the applied force direction that we called as a f and somewhat part of this force which is responsible to motion of this object in this horizontal direction that we called as a f1 okay so f1 is a component of a force in the direction of displacement because our object move in this direction okay and force is in this direction so f1 is the horizontal component of a force in the direction of displacement okay so here amount of work done in this case is given by w is equal to f1 into s because this force is responsible 
for the motion of an object. This horizontal component we have to consider here because it is in the direction of the displacement. F1 is in the direction of the displacement. Okay. So here work done will be equal to F1 in F1 into a sphere. F1 is the component of force in the direction of displacement. So now this component of force, how we have to calculate that we have to see now. Okay. So for that we have to use some trigonometric function. Okay. Sine, cosine. So the functions we have to use regularly that you, that you you will study in mathematics. Okay. But now only we have to consider cosine theta here. Okay. So cosine theta that is the cos theta is given by the now suppose this is direction of displacement this is the direction of force okay so if we join both by one perpendicular okay then here one right angle triangle will be formed okay so now and this is the, the angle between displacement and force so this is a one triangle this is the angle between force and displacement that is the theta okay so this cos theta is given by base upon hypotenuse okay so this is the base of a triangle and this is the hypotenuse of a triangle okay so this cos theta will be equal to base upon hypotenuse now cos theta is equal to base is what base is the component of force in the horizontal direction okay that we already called as a f1 so our base is what simply f1 okay it is what component of force in the horizontal direction and hypotenuse is what hypotenuse is the applied force direction so hypotenuse is nothing but the f okay so you have to remember this cos theta is given by base upon hypotenuse in this figure base is what base is the component of force in the horizontal direction of displacement and hypotenuse is what hypotenuse is what is the direction of a applied force okay so f1 by f so from that we can calculate f1 so f1 will be equal to f cos theta okay it is here f is divided if you shift it in the left hand side so it will be multiplied so f1 will be equal to f into cos theta okay so we know we call this is the equation number one so now here work done in this case is given by w is equal to f1 into s okay so but that f1 is equal to what f1 is equal to f cos theta now this value we have to put in this equation number one so we can call here the work done by this force f1 is given by w is equal to f1 into s force into displacement now what is f1 f1 is equal to f cos theta so instead of f1 we write here f cos theta into s as it is okay so this work done will be equal to f s cos theta where theta is the angle between force and displacement okay now we see this case when displacement is not exactly in the direction of applied force here force is in this direction displacement is in this direction this is the angle between force and displacement at that time how we have to calculate work done that we have to see in this case okay so in this case final equation of work done is become w is equal to f s into cos theta means whatever the force we applied f s is the displacement and theta is angle between displacement and force okay so this theta is actually important here how much the value of a theta that affects actually this work okay if suppose i apply force in exact perpendicular direction okay simply i pull an object in upward direction at that time i am actually 
apply force suppose this is our object okay and if i push that object in upward direction at that time actually this angle is how much 90 degree of application of force okay due to that application what happened displacement produced in an object or not if i remove that force okay then again that object will fall on the same place so there is no displacement occur in such a case and we know cos 90 is equal to 0 if cos 90 is equal to 0 f s into 0 written will be 0 okay so in which angle we apply force that is the important okay that angle decides actually our work done in which direction we apply force the theta matters here in case of if displacement is not exact in the direction of applied force if there is somewhat angle between displacement and force at that time work done is given by f s into cos theta where theta is the angle between displacement and force okay so simply we have to remember here this diagram this is the direction of applied force this is the direction of displacement okay and this is f1 is the component of force in the direction of displacement so we know work done is given by in this case f1 into s that we call equation 1 now we have to calculate this value of f1 how much is the f1 that we have to calculate that is given by using this cosine theta okay this is the angle between force and displacement so cos theta is given by based upon hypotenuse we consider this the one right angle triangle okay this is the hypotenuse this is the adjacent side of this angle theta so based upon hypotenuse so cos theta will be equal to f1 base is we call as a component of force in the horizontal direction that is the f1 and hypotenuse that we call as a direction of applied force so cos theta will be equal to f1 by f from that we calculate this value of f1 f1 will be equal to f cos theta and this value of f1 we have to calculate in this equation okay so work done will be equal to f cos theta into s so work is equal to f s cos theta okay that much part we have to remember up to now we have studied what is the work what is the meaning of work and when we call work is done okay no doubt about that in physical or mental activity is called as a work but in terms of physics in language of physics work done we can say when and when applied force is responsible for the motion of an object due to the application of force motion should be produced displacement should be produced in an object if displacement is not produced then we can't say that work is done that is the meaning of work in terms of physics okay that much part we have to study today the remaining part of this topic we will see in next lecture thank you